What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you a new tweak called Widget Center. Now what Widget Center does is allow you to use that blank space and reachability for something useful. It actually puts a widget in there. So you can see if we go ahead and open up an application, and then let's say we invoke reachability. You'll notice that we get a control center widget right up here. So we have all of our toggles, we have our quick launch icons, and we also have the brightness slider. One thing we don't have is the media controls, but you can access those just by swiping down as you can see right there. So you'll notice that the reachability space actually dynamically changes depending on how big the widget is. Now, it's pretty cool, looks nice. Well, there's actually more widgets to this tweak. So you can see right here, if we go ahead and swipe across, that we have a media player widget right up here at the top. So this obviously is going to allow you to play, pause, go to the next or previous song, and when you have something playing, or if you played something and then started to pause it, then you'll notice that you'll have uh, album artwork right there as well. So swiping again one more time, this is the app switcher. So you can go ahead and swipe through here and then quickly launch any of these applications just by tapping on them. And last but not least, if we swipe over one more time, we also have a clock widget. Now, this is one that I probably wouldn't use all that often just because, I mean, we have a clock right there in the status bar. So we don't really need this, but it does look nice. Uh, I'll give it that. But to get rid of it, we can just tap right down here and we can open up the widget center settings panel. And then right up here, we have a uh, kill switch if you want to turn it off. You also can change the position of the widgets from the top to the bottom. So if you're actually using reachability in terms of wanting to, you know, manipulate everything with just your thumb, then you can see right here, if we go ahead and invoke it, that we have everything within thumb's reach. Of course, if you want to get the media control centers, you'll have to swipe up instead of down to get those. So we'll tap right here and I'll show you these widgets that are available. These are the four that are available right now, but hopefully in the near future, we'll have some additional widgets that we can also add to. So of course, if you wanted to rearrange these, you just take the little grabber and rearrange them, or if you want to disable it, then just bring it down to the disabled portion. And also we have a little toggle right here for the WC switcher. So if we tap on that, you'll notice that we have the blur app window toggle. If we toggle this on or off, then of course it's either going to blur the app window app switcher window or unblur it. So you'll notice right here, if we go ahead and invoke reachability, we swipe over, you'll notice that it doesn't blur right up here anymore like it did previously. And that's all that that really does. But that's Widget Center in a nutshell. Hopefully we'll see more widgets here in the near future, but let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you wanna see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right guys, until next time, peace.